Hello again. I'm going to start you with Mastermind Games. Back to the last model from the morning's box set it, from uh, Malifaux. Nurses. I'm clear off the skin tone here. Fair skin 09047. And since the color skins are very similar, I'll only be doing one on camera effectively. Just doing bits and pieces of both of them. So, Mornings and Nurses are actually far older than they look, using mostly untested chemical compounds and predominantly uh, skin stolen from their victims to make their uh, them appear eternally youthful. The intense pain of the process has uh, left most of them uh, with more than a few screws loose, so we'll be playing around with the shading on this to make sure they have a disturbing pallor. But yeah, again, Malifaux has a uh, twisted, or not twisted, but a strong horror theme and twisted versions of uh, many things from the real world. Okay, I think she has sleep. Oh, it's gloves. Okay, that's where I was misinterpreting it. So, okay. So just get the uh, elbow here. Okay. But, yeah. Okay, and that's all the skin showing on that one. I'll to touch up that glove later. So get the other one and move on. Okay, next, blonde hair, 09257. Let me get this uh, next, I think. Yeah, I want to get this next. Kind of a bad bottle there. I'm using just enough water to thin the paint, keeping my brush moist but not overly wet. Nurses, so as I mentioned, they do uh, try to keep themselves eternally young by stealing fresh skin from younger women and applying it to themselves in the forms of a sort of skin graft, which eventually rots over time with uh, both the process of doing s of the grafting and the rotting aspect being painful. For the nurse alone, let alone the victim, and again, kind of a twisted parody of what a nurse should be. Okay, and for the other one, I see her as a redhead, so I'm going to start with Fire Red 09004 and give her a bright blood red hair. And if DC's Harley Quinn ever wore a nurse's outfit, this is what she'd look like, most likely. Yeah, it's not bad. I might not even need to do a second coat this time. But usually when doing brighter colors on dark primer, you'll need to do a second coat or base it in white first. But I think... This will do. Alright. I need to let that dry completely. Then I can move on. 
Okay. Leather white 09062. This is going to be the major color, and I'm going to get a little tricky with the way her hair is positioned. Huh. Got a pink like a I didn't want on there. Alright, I'll just touch that up. That's fine. That's fine. So a very, very fine, barely visible line between where the hat ends and her hairline begins. That squeak was my power rubbing the wrong way. Okay, so there is a sculpted cross on her mask. Okay. I'll, I'll take care of that when I get to uh, the next clothing color. And this work gets a little tricky, so I gotta touch up the hair anyway, so it's fine. And oh, sounds like a low flying aircraft is coming overhead. All right, that's fine. All right, get the gloves. Which I had mistaken as bare skin. Is, I think it's fine. So, pretty standard uh, color scheme, really. And there are ribbons uh, tying her hair back, but I'm not doing those yet. Those will be in a bright red. So I need to get this uh, white first and then go to the red. Thing. Now see this here is how most uh, companies do the underneath the skirts, just a solid mass where uh, the details aren't needed to be seen and would take extra resources to make, which is weird because some of their models do have skirts in multiple pieces and carved details that are unnecessary, or sculpted details that are not really necessary because they end up being covered up anyway. Just kind of an oddity. Okay. Just about there on the white. I have to double check which one, but the nurses actually have two keywords, experimental, so they can go with morning, but there's another one. I have to double check. They used to have tormented in second edition, but it's something else now. I think I'll double check after the before I do the next clip, but Make sure I get a nice solid coat here. That's pretty good, okay. I'll touch up her hair, apply the other one, and then come back in a bit and add the secondary color. Okay, vampire red.
I'm going to do a secondary color. Maybe I should have rethought using this color with red hair, but I had a strong impression of this one being a redhead. Let's try to keep this on camera here. just the first part. And now, corset portion ends about here. Keeping the brush nice and moist during this, not overly wet though. Just enough water to keep the paint thin, and that's actually a little too thin right there. So, all about patience and precision. Try to make sure I'm in the camera for this. The angles I have to use to keep this on camera kind of run counter to the optimal angles for actually painting, so it's a bit of a fight. Then okay. carefully picking out the shoes. Because I want to make sure the white of the stockings stays intact. I'm going to do one shoe at a time. This is where I have to be the most meticulous. I have to go back in and touch up that toe on our left foot there. Okay. Apply that to the other nurse. And is there anything on our neck? Yeah, there is. There's a little cross right at her throat. Okay. Now apply the other one. And come back in a bit. Alright, I did kind of rework a little bit here based on uh, how the red turned out on the blonde. So, next up, Tarnished Steel 09206. Get some syringes. Weapons are described as, uh, I believe, surgical instruments. Just realized I forgot to check what that other keyword they have is. But these are going to have a fluid in them by the time I'm finished. But for now, I'm just going to do the whole thing in steel and apply to the giant syringe no one's carrying and uh, move on that. All right, last base coat, uniform gray for the stone work. Now I need a smaller one because of the feet. Okay, I'm keeping my pre 
brush moist but not overly wet. Let's start with the most delicate area, the uh, feet. And despite having tiny connection points, they're not that, they're pretty stable in their connection to the base. Probably because they're not too top heavy, which some of the Malifaux models do tend to be. Okay. Apply to the other one when that's all dried up, I can move on and start shading. Alright, time to shade. Chaotic red. Thinning with one part water to one part paint. The brush is too big. There we go, that's what I need. Gotta have the right tool for the job. coat and letting it flow down. Being real careful here. I don't want to get this on the white if I can help. I don't want to get this on the white at all actually. So. This will flow into the recessed areas. Combined with the highlight will help that pop. So the red here is going to be darker than what you would expect on a uh, red cross uniform, but these nurses aren't red cross. I did look it up there. Weapons are surgical instruments. And Keywords are experimental as well as asylum, which means they can go with uh, Dr. Stanley Grimswell from the Guild faction. As far as I know, it's the only one with the asylum keyword beyond them. I suppose I could double check every book I have to find out. Okay. Where's a tedious nerve-wracking work, but uh, apply to the other one, and we're going to move on in a bit. Alright, red still drying, but I can shade the syringe. Black and steel, 09205. Water to one part paint, making this into a wash. Just carefully going over the metal. Okay. Locked out and didn't hit the white, so let that try completely. And I can get the next one. All right. Linen white, 09061. brush I'm using might be just about shot, at least for base cutting, which means it's going to get relegated to shading, or not shading, highlighting, which is 
fine brushes don't last forever. Just carefully going over the white. it to flow into all the nooks and crannies that I can. Keeping the brush nice and wet during this step. to the other oh wait I almost forgot to do her face mask okay apply to the other then move on and we're getting there all right while that uh, shade on the white is drying I'm going to take that white and prep some lighting in the syringes Just enough water to thin the paint, keeping my brush moist but not overly wet. Just gonna fill in part of the syringe here, where the fluid would be. to the other and when all this is dry I can get the lighting and uh, wrap up shading. Okay, almost forgot to shade the hair. Blonde Shadow 0256. Her hair does go over the syringe a bit. It's not the amount of paint, so I can avoid nicking her collar.
Okay. Let that dry completely. Then I'll be able to get the last of the shading on the face as well as the base and do the lighting effect. Alright. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take Rainy Gray 09038 and shade the skin with this. This should give it an uh, unusual pallor. And hopefully get the point across that they're actually not wearing their own skin. Thin this out just a little more than usual, I think. to the other and move on. Okay, now for the lighting effect, vampire red again. And using two to three parts water to one part paint. Get this real and just go over the white on the syringes. The key with the lighting effect is to have some of your white showing through. And that got onto the hands. I'll just absorb that real quick and put that a little bit there. Okay. Apply to the other, and there'll be one more layer of shading to do. And I just dropped uh, almost four in the of blink of an eye. Alright, since my camera decided to have a temper tantrum with that last segment, I'll just do the vampire red on this one as well. The key on the lighting effect is for some of your white to show through in the end. Alright. I need just a touch more right there. Okay. Now, Stormy Gray 09088. And yeah, I did forget to actually shade her chest with the rainy gray on camera, so I took care of it afterwards. Didn't realize I'd missed a spot. Being careful around the shoes, just like with the base coat, and just let this flow all over. It's going to be shading, so let this all dry completely, pour the other, start detailing how it when I come back. All right, matte white again. Got that scooter a little too high. Okay, taking a detailed brush. but not overly wet. Very carefully fill in the eyes. And do that to the other one. Black 09037. Just a tiny, tiny dot for now. Again, this is just enough water to thin the paint out. And that is the focus. Come on. There we 
go. Carefully fill in pupils. Using a ragged feathered brush, something along the lines of this. Fair highlight zero nine zero four eight. Try to keep in camera. No water, straight paint only. Rub most of the paint out on a paper towel until it looks like there's nothing left. Let me dust the area to be affected. Focusing on the readily visible areas only. Yeah, that using the gray to shade has definitely given it a, given her an unusual pallor, which is very appropriate because, again, she's wearing someone else's skin. I'm just going to get both of them on camera because it will take me an insane amount of time to just keep switching back and forth between the models as I do this. Okay. Blonde highlight, 09258. Oh, I'm dropping a bunch of frames, so hang on, let's get this fixed. All right. Blonde highlight, 09258, I'm trying again. Ragged feathered brush. Rubbing most of the paint out. And make a try go against any raised any ridges. Okay. Then. I generally grip the base. I'm going to grip the model itself right now because she's wiggling a little. I'm working systematically. Phoenix Red 09005. Ghost White, 09063.
try to go against these wrinkles in the skirt. That'll catch the paint and make those stand out all the more. Fire red zero nine zero zero four. Try to keep things in focus if I can. The focus has always been an uphill battle with me, and I'll keep trying until I get it right. Let's see, do I have anything smaller left? I do. That one. Gotta hunt around for the right brush for the job. Okay, I'll have to go back in and touch up that white there. Okay. True Silver zero nine two zero seven. Avoiding the area that I put the lighting effect on here. I'm also trying to cover up the spillover from the white. It doesn't take a whole lot to do this. Gray zero nine zero nine zero. Which is just about cash, but I do have a spare on hand for when it runs out. Much pain. 
paint there. Dusting on the stonework. bit of paint, but pure black 09037 again. I'm going to switch to a flat head brush. And carefully line the edge of the base. Apply that to the other one and let it dry completely. And there's one final step to do. All right, last step matte white again. And I'm just going to apply a quick Roman numeral on the back of the base. Same amount of water as a base coat to keep my brush moist but not overly wet. And just one. And two. That way in a game I can just write that number over the protective sleeve I put the card in and quickly tell which is which. It's especially handy when you've got older sculpts. And that is it. Nurses from uh, the Resurrection Statue of Malifaux. These were the last models from that morning's box set. And I'm going to be starting a new box set in the next video from Malifaux. So, until then, I am Ian Stuckey with Mastermind Games, signing out.